All right, let's see. Someone more private with our new waifu. All right. Everyone's going to leave me once again. Traditional. Tradition lives on. And now I need to run. Hmm. Looks at me, then walks away and says nothing. This is like miming. They're all mutes. Ooh, we get a private room. Oh, she's just paying everyone to leave, basically. Private event here! She's a gunbreaker? <laughs> OG gunbreaker? Or a machinist? Dramatic music time. なるほどね。ニーズヘッグのやつは倒れ。あんたらは教皇庁の坊主どもが何百年も必死に隠してきた秘密。どういうこと俺には it kind of makes sense also it's you know concept like theoretically maybe ishgard also had a cleansing who knows like they they don't i don't know if they will discuss this but the 12 who got the power of the dragons could have theoretically basically like exiled or killed off the rest of them at a certain point or just like through you know blood, uh marriage and children that like the blood of the dragons is so strong that every child that was born after they partook in eating a dragon basically had the power of a dragon hidden within them which means you know over time eventually like everyone has that blood even even if it's like a sucklet of a ziplet of a niplet we're talking about like someone having like the most tiniest of blood of a dragon in them. Which would be uh, interesting nonetheless. But. So, the Shinden Kishidan Socho no Aimeriku Koreo Kyoko Samani. Wouldn't mind letting everyone know. Hmm. So, Nakudo Kyoko ga mitomeru aki ne janega! Is he simple? Uh, it, this must really be a nice way that, that like, the localization team didn't want to call him retarded, as they felt that would not be appropriate to use in the game. What, what is it, uh, um, what's his name? Simple. That's what it is. Simple Drac. My head movies make my eyes rain. <laughs> That's what they call them, Simple Jack. これを知って、我々はアイメリク教を見殺しにはできない。彼こそ。これからのイシュガルドに必要な人物だ。あんたらも本当にお人差しだね。異邦人の癖して命を懸け合ってんだから。で、アイメリク教がこのまま戻らぬようなら、我々は教皇庁へ突入する。All the power to break him out. Give me the power. He has a sweet looking gun. Oh shit! Here they come! Oh shit! <laughs> Toss them over the balcony in slow motion. We're fucking Matrix here. Hmm? 
くさいさあプンプンしやがる And like, you don't even, you don't even blink. You're just like, okay, dude just got thrown over the fucking edge. Nothing unusual here. Urr, queen of rats. Oh, we get to backhand this little bitch. Oh, you got irons up here. So she's a dominatrix into some BDSM? The animation on your character is ridiculous. Protect, yeah. What is this, Final Fantasy game or something? It's like, I don't even have to do anything. And protect spells more powerful than your gun. Oh, healers lost protect. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember seeing him in there in like the actual Forgotten Night. He's my, you know, he's my biggest fanboy. Other other waifu has come. Oh shit, it's a waifu battle. <laughs> That's what she looks like. What the fuck is this? I just backflip onto the top of a fucking like two or three story house. Yeah, that's a uh, third story, all right. Oh, just casual backflip here. We're all ninjas. The Matrix, yeah. It turned into the Matrix the minute he threw a guy. Everything slowed down, and then he hit the ground. And, like, you didn't even blink. Like, this is everyday activity for you. And you see it all the time. And then he just casually, you know, backflips up to a third story of a house. Yeah. An innocent bystander. Oh, I didn't even realize that they were called Heaven's Ward, like the, the zealots of the Holy See. なるほど。先ほどの総天騎士が神殿騎士たちを率いていた理由はそれか。アイメリク様に対して忠誠心の厚いものは。Half hour number, that's still pretty good. We have a civil war on our hands. Uh, I'm the fucking warrior of light, I'm like... Two platoons at least. Two motherfucking platoons. No, the warrior of light is always in charge. Except when I'm fetching coffee. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of me, motherfucker? 
I just like, you know, killed a fucking dragon with the dragoon and killed a whole bunch of fucking primals and your bitch asses are all scared of Nidhogg. And here I am with one other fucker taking him down. And you know, what is it? A month, a week? You people have been fighting this shithead for a thousand years. I do it. I do it in one fucking engagement. Like seriously, in a thousand fucking years, you guys have not had one person strong enough to fight him. Head nods all around. When in debt out, just head nodded out. Let me guess. You're wondering why I chose a mongrel, right? Because it's what I am. And I'm not ashamed of it. Not anymore. Besides, even my pure blood pups have more in common with me than the lords and ladies up on high. They none of them are well bred. Else, some of their mothers were cast out after a spot of fun, same as mine. Yeah, I did uh, read all of that. I actually, it's a pretty good like little little like story. It makes sense. Uh, like I, I basically consider the. the um, it's interesting because like their names are not very Latin, but to me, like all of his Ishgard is the Catholic Church. Like clearly, it's the Catholic Church. They have the Holy See, who's like the Pope, um, the Temple Knights, which are like the Templars, and then basically, you know, anyone who's not of like you know of royalty or blessed um, is a lesser being. So her mom was essentially human. <laughs> And, uh, slept with, uh, you know, an Alezin. And bam, out comes her. So she is a half-breed. Story old as time. And one we're sick of hearing. Which is why we took up arms. Not that we mean to hold all the blue bloods to count. Some have done right by us. I'll allow like them in house... Oh, she's the first half breed. So this might be a dumb question. I actually was thinking about this. Can you you model a character to look like a half breed? Like, can you create her model essentially in the character creator? Because I know there isn't, there is no like, uh, like I played EverQuest back in the day. EverQuest literally has half elves um and obviously there is no literal half elf in ff14 ah uh, that'd be kind of neat actually i'm surprised they didn't introduce in like stormblood then a new race which was essentially like a combination of models because that seems like almost a trivial thing to do in that like you would have some face models on a different shaped body or basically on a smaller smaller body and then you can get half breeds without almost that much work it would just probably be scaling you know the actual uh polygons and scaling the textures to map onto it oh okay just hers is unique but enough talk your friend's still rotting in a cell let's not keep him waiting is he really my friend? He's just like, you know, kind of acquaintance. We shoot the shit. I kill some dragons for him. And we cut into cutscene again. <laughs> We've been working in secret to undermine the Holy See and the high houses. That much I acknowledge. But this nonsense about us throwing wide the gates for the heretics is just that. Nonsense. If not you, then who? You Temple Knights, of course. Reckon it was your beloved Sir Amrick's doing at first. But then I heard how he lost his head. My next best guess would be the Heaven's Ward. 
That way, they have the perfect excuse to go door to door through the broom, slaughter the heretics, their sympathizers, in one fell swoop. <clears throat> But Heaven's Word scheme did not account for Lady Icehawk's intervention, and so they have been forced to improvise. A fine blood a mess, ain't it? But the die is cast, so what's the plan? We must divert the attention of the High Houses, away from the city, and to do that, we need the cooperation of your allies in their service. And what makes you think I have friends in high places? You would be fools not to, given your goals. Lowborn knights are ideal recruits. Most war fealty only out of desire for a better, better life. If offered an opportunity to shed the yoke and live for themselves, who among them would not at least be tempted to take it? Rare is the man eager to die for a cause he does not hold dear, but it need not come to that this day. If they and their fellow knights are deployed afield to deal with a new threat, a massing of heretics, for example, then they will be unable to join the defense of the vault. So, oh, spread false reports of an attack to get him out of harm's way, you mean? Uh, the city will not soon forget the heretics last soul. If the High Houses believe another attack is imminent, then they will have no choice but to act. Can it be done? Can we trick them into leaving Ishgard? Hey, can we keep them out for long? Not bloody likely. Make sure you're ready before I send word, because you won't get a second chance at this. Then it is decided. The default! The Archbishop must be held to account. And the Lord Commander granted his liberty. Hearken to me, everyone. We have two objectives. Rescue Sir Emmerich and apprehend the Archbishop. We will therefore divide our forces into two parties. <clears throat> Lord Hochfont, Estinine, Master Alphenard, and I will make ready to breach the underground gill and search for the Lord Commander. We will not move, however, until the second party has entered the vault. I speak of your party, Warrior of Light. While this plan to succeed, you will need to fight your way into the highest levels of the vault, even unto the Archbishop's private chambers. When the Heavens Ward Realize what you intend, they will fly to their master's aid, leaving only a token force to guard the gal. Temple Knights loyal to our cause have already secured the entrance to the vault. Once you are within, they will signal to us. If all goes to plan, we shall rejoin you with Sir Emmerich and confront the Archbishop together. Is everyone clear as to their duties? Then let us do what needs to be done. Everyone, let's go! The other is in position, Master Akuma. <clears throat> I will send word once you and your party have entered. The vault. We have to join the vault. Oh, I didn't know that. Our power, how can this be? How can this be baby rage? Eating in the dragons. Oh shit! Is that my boy Sid coming in hot? Ooh, yeah, I need to definitely do that, the expanded one. Update that. After, like, all these cutscenes and all. <laughs> it, it, I was getting to the good parts, the juicy bits, since it's closing in on the end of he Heaven's Ward. Oh, Archbishop, you're trying to run. 
Oh, Sir Emmerich's here! Gotcha, Gasm! Yes, our biggest fan boy. I love that dude. He's always so pumped up to see us. Ooh, buckle up. Oh shit, talking smack to his own son. Oh, we're about to like drop the axe and sword on you. Who the fuck is that? Oh, is that one of the zealots, the Heaven's Ward, it transformed? No! Oh, he blocked! Holy shit! That fucking shield block! Look at that face! No! Our fanboy! No! Your dad is not gonna be happy with us! Motherfucker! You just killed our fanboy! Azure Dragoon can fucking jump onto there! God damn it! They just killed our homie! What fuckers! He should have, like, I don't quite understand his maneuver, though. Like, if he's blocking that shit, like, oh, like, move the fuck out of the way. It wasn't like a bullet just hitting him. He was standing there like this. God damn. Homie, I'm going to pour out, you know, a couple of 40s for you. No! Don't die! We've totally gone full anime here. He even has the anime one word at a time and I'll live like this for several minutes. Our character actually looks fucking sad for once. No! God damn it, homie! You always were there for us! God damn, that is good camera work. That zoom out angle, that is good. God. He probably here he does he know the bad news already? Aww. 
それこそが騎士の本会。ああ。か。He needs a hug. 沈黙を持って、弔ってやってくれぬか。あやつの心を連れ、やつらを追ってくれ。どうか、息子の愛したイシュガルドを頼む。ああ。He's actually crying. Bastard son, his other son, and the midget. Orushwan Kyo no Tamasi to Tomoni. Aww. So, Bible thump. That's heavy shit. That's. I. We must press on with our mission. Tataru, pray return to your duties at、uh, the forgotten night. She's so fucking useless! Here we are, mourning this badass motherfucker who basically takes a bullet for us.、Um, and here she is, is like basically just here to listen to gossip. Strawberry lemonade. An audience with the Lord Commander? Yes, yes, of course. Indeed. Oh shit, we got in a moment. Every time I think about you, I touch myself. That's the warrior of light. <laughs> yeah, so ガルドケンコクのソデアルトールダンオーは、ハイカジュニキシオヒキテ、ラタトスクオダマシウチ、ソボウ、ソレワマギレモナイ、トモタルギュエノラギリダ。So the Archbishop has the other eye. I assume then. Yes, we know about that. Told down on the Muscari, Junich no Hitori de Atta Hardorasu, Jadio no Mekarat. So, should I all know you, Kishino Tanjuda? 
Uh, we didn't hear about the other eye yet. Okay, maybe now. Yeah, motherfucker, I will. Yeah. It was pretty, uh, you know, shitty what he did. No, you shouldn't surrender yourselves. You should accept that like you deserve the punishment to some degree. An eternity uh, is a little absurd, but like at the same time, you're still holding on to his fucking eye. So, and you had his other eye. So like, it's not even like, hey, Nidhogg, how about we, we come to an agreement? Like you can get your eyes back. We apologize for what our far forefathers did because they were fuckers and we call this even. Although his point is that they're, you know, implacable, so uh they it doesn't matter what they do, they would never care. But then like I guess you can say morale would drop if they knew the truth. Because like if if your story is that yeah, we fucked up, like why would your people want to defend itself? They'd be like, later bitches, uh you're all all, you know, descended from assholes who fucked with the dragons. And you expect me to fight for that? Like, no fucking way. Yeah, it's a catch-22 here. And that, like, if you don't have people committed to this, like, lie, then they won't fight. If they don't fight, then you can't defend Ishkar. But then maybe... The um, philosophically, you don't deserve to have your country because it's all uh, based on a fucking lie, and you should all die or lose the country and it see it destroyed and rebuilt after they get their revenge. You know, a new country can rise in the ashes. <laughs> Which is funny, I, I literally just watched um, Dororo, uh, and this kind of has like the same philosophical question. Basically, like, is the life of one more important than the life of many? Even if the life of one was, like, the life of many is based on the wronging of one. Like, extreme extreme like wronging of one all in the name of you know like a country like basically uh let me put it like this like would you sacrifice like your old girlfriend to make the world a better place or that kind of thing like if you knew the world would be you know significantly better if you killed your girlfriend or like basically sacrificed her would you be willing to do it that kind of thing. Or like you had to, uh, you know, she had to be blind, deaf, and mute for the rest of her life. But the rest of the world would then also be like significantly better. Is that, is that like, you know, justified? So. 
千年後の謝罪が何になろうではと戦で父を夫をそして子を失ったためにそなたらの家族は<笑>歴代の教皇が偽りと知りながら千年の長きにわたり戦い続けてきたのはなぜか。Are you guys from the sins of antiquity? Technically, they are freed from the sins of antiquity at this point. So, th this also then gets into like, would it make sense to be like, okay, in another thousand years, we'll tell the people the truth? Or, you know, like, after like the next two generations die, you know, like the, the parents. And the wives and the husbands and the kid, the current kids, let those current kids die, and their kids will be the ones to know the truth and speak the truth. Because at that point, all gener all generations who theoretically have been wronged or could feel wronged would be gone, and then you can start anew without kind of like the same burden. Although, of course, like people will still feel wrong to some degree. But it would be significantly less. Shin no henkaku no tame ni na. So yatsu wa chikaro ni tsunai de oke. Hoka ni shin jitsu o shi. Question him thoroughly. Yeah, I'm, I essentially minored in philosophy in college. So, I generally enjoy those, those hard questions. その様子、過去を見たようだな。これが超える力、その能力、星の光が。ファインメメントインディーデ。今君が語ったことがすべてだ。私は。I mean, the reason he had no words is quite obvious. It's he didn't think about all all sides of the the problem with telling people the truth. You know, the truth is one of those things you you can cause like all sorts of problems by giving the truth sometimes, which is why like people lie or have white lies, things like that. Because sometimes it's better just to just outright, you know, not tell people the legitimate truth. Kotoba to a toki ni kukyo na mono. Hito no ishi koso ga shinri o tsuranuku no da to watashi wa tomo ni oshie rare mashita. Shikashi, sono kotoba ga ki ni narimasu. Change. He's going to bring Obama. Holy shit! Final Fantasy fourteen, fucking dropping Obama into the game. Kyokuchou, the Mamiya, the Soden Kishitachi, was. Jinchi, o koeta, chikara, o misu da. Tashikani. Porsche Fankyo, o taoshita sai no Zephyran no chikara wa iyo na mono deshita. Kenkoku no shinwa ni utawareru. 
トールダウン王の円卓に集う12人の騎士たちナイツ・オブ・ラウンド彼らは聖なる力を帯びていたという歴史は人によって綴られ宗教は神話を作り出すやがてま,まさかまさか It's because they drink the blood of the dragons 氷の巫女がその体に芝を宿したように彼らもまた己の身に伝説の存在を降臨させたとすれば Is he going to summon King Thornton then? They're summoning the knights into themselves? Unbelievable. Indeed, my good sir. I think that's a good idea. Find the heavens ward. Yeah, that makes sense. That each of the knights are essentially like pulling a Shiva, if you will. It's a little weird that all of them got this ability, but I, I can see it. Especially since it requires crystals of some sort. Master Ujin, Master Afanon, I, Emric, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, do hereby entreat the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I aid in uh, preventing whatever it is that the Archbishop intends. Your aid in bringing him to justice. Too much blood has been spilled for the lies he perpetuated. No more. Oh, motherfucker! This is for our motherfucking homies. And much has uh, changed since our orders for being, but our duty to combat the primal threat has not. The Archbishop and the Heaven's Ward are guilty of the crime of summoning Akuma, and I will stop them. Would that I could join you in the pursuit, but alas, my father's absence has thrown our government into chaos. Ever since the founding of our nation, there has been an archbishop to serve as a guiding light for the masses, a force of stability to counterbalance the high house's ceaseless maneuvering. Revenge! Convincing the people to recognize the truth of our origins would have been difficult even with my father's support. Road ahead is that much more fraught with peril without it. Yet walk it we must. But unity is more vital to our survival than ever. After all, Nidhug's death did not mark the cessation of Dravanian hostility. Far from it. We will need, we will have great need of each other in the days to come. You may ever count on my lot, sir. Emmerich, to my dying breath, I shall defend Ishgard from the Horde. If I may, Lord Commander, I would like to assist the Scions in their search for the Archbishop. Akama, Master Avenard, pray attend me outside. Very well, me, Akama, I believe we have much to discuss. The sins of antiquity. The Solil was eastward bound, so I sent word to Camp Cloudtop on the off chance the airship passed by. Sure enough, Lady Laniette, Laniette, uh, whatever, very hard, uh, informed me that it had been sighted by her scouts. Then, <clears throat> then the Archbishop is somewhere in the Sea of Clouds? Or was, not long ago. 
The airship has not been seen since it disappeared into the northern reaches near the blue window. Alas, because the region is firmly held by the Vanu Vanu, not easily accessible from Cl Camp Cloudtop, House Eleonard has yet to establish a foothold. We will need not only an airship, but a captain bold enough to risk the beast men's wrath. I think we both know the perfect candidate, Aquama. Let us pay a visit to Master Golon at the Sky Steel Manufactory. I see. Then I will take my leave for now. There are other matters which require my attention. All nonchalantly walking in. Ah, the dastardly duo. What mischief have you two been getting up to lately? You haven't heard, have you? I hardly know where to start. He was a good man. Seed, uh, have you ever heard of uh, Aziz La? The Archbishop spoke of it before he fled. No, but it's probably some source of phenomenal cosmic power that's key to his plans. From what he told Akuma, the Ashens tried to tempt him as they tempted Gaius with the ultimate weapon. Even if he spoke true about playing along, I could see him attempting to seize it. As if we needed another reason to uh, pursue him. Well, I'm convinced. The Enterprise is at your disposal. Come to the airship landing when you're ready to depart. We're ready to depart. No, Sid, please. Yeah, it's just as well. After pulling you out. Of the fire these last few times, I reckon I was due to deliver you into it. I'll show you some fire, Sid. My raging heart on for you. Into the blow. Into uh, the fire, is it? In that case, I should inform Tataru of our plans. Very go on ahead to the airship landing. I shall join you anon. Go oh, sit in Biggs and Wedge. The boys have been hard at work preparing for our flight. I'm pleased to say we are ready to depart. Oh, boys, we're ready to depart. That is as certain as soon as a certain uh, uh pray forgive me my lateness. A tattoo and I had much to discuss. Uh, we have no news of the missing scions, but she assures me that anger and Rio are pursuing promising leads. Come come. We can continue this discussion aboard the Enterprise. Ah, everybody aboard! Ah, uh, there's a waiting for you on board the Enterprise, Akuma. Shall we get going? Forward the Enterprise. Welcome to the clouds. Imada Imada. 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 Imada.
Followed in their wake. I look like a fucking boss. Like, it's like, send him my way. I will fucking kill them all for my homie. From here, Camp Cloudtops looks rather far. <clears throat> Beyond your guard, Akuma. The Vanu could be anywhere, even watching us as we speak. Assuming uh, the Sole is here, I thought you will come to us. We should begin searching the Isles in Ernest. Of course, we must remain vigilant for Vanu Scots as well. I would rather avoid needless bloodshed. I may have uh, this effort was doomed to failure. Begs mercy of Netherlands. Does not fight. Does not wish to die. Was that a... <clears throat> was that the Vanu being attacked? But by whom? Let's go see, guys. Over there! Your ill troops? Ish guardians! See them! They'll know where the Archbishop is. Yeah, that and that'd be cool. As long as like my power doesn't go out tonight, I'll be down for that since uh my girlfriend is actually on the emergency response team, so uh she's gone until um, either most likely Friday at earliest. The enemy of my enemy. We've no choice. With me, Akuma, protect the Vanu. Sure thing. Netherling save Vonu Vanu from certain death. Showers Netherlings with things like Summer Squall. Lonu Vanu knows not what wind bears Netherlings to Cloud Sea, but warmly welcomes them. Shows gratitude where gratitude is due. Lonu Vanu owes much and more to Netherlings. As saviors, as heroes, Zundu welcome you. The village we go. To north. Come, come. Uh, the Gullians were searching for the Archbishop and believed that the Vanu Vanu knew something of his whereabouts. Methods notwithstanding, they may have had the right of it. I conclude that we should accept Vanu Vanu's offer of hospitality and visit his village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it's definitely a rarity. So hopefully it, it doesn't actually happen. I know um in New Jersey my parents not not where my parents exactly live, but like somewhere that was probably in an hour distance, within an hour distance, had a tornado. Um, but I don't think it lasted very long. And that was like two months ago. <laughs> Well, obviously here in the States, everyone is loud, so you got to make sure they hear it. Like breeze guides, leaves to rest. Come and lay down your burdens. And the links, Manu Vanu throws white arms in greeting. Behold, okay, Zandu. Uh, fa wama welcome, then the one you see from the Vandu, I think. Ha! Vandu bluster and blow hither and yon. Sound and fury, like aimless gale. 
Eh, what unseen lightning begets such thunderous report? There you are. Did you see it? It's that damn flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Where? The white. Oh shit! He's wounded! He just ate a fucking island. By the twelve! Did the beast just eat that island? Oh, insatiable white. Oh, devourer of worlds. Why must you torment us? Bah! Vanu Vanu wastes no words on his unfathomable deeds. Come, Netherlands. Come and break words with Chief of Zandu. With wisdom deep as nethers, and eyes clear as cloudless blue. Sonu Vanu speaks for Zundu. Hearken to his words. Netherlings deliver Vanu Vanu from claws of steel shod fiends and prove nobility. He knows not to ignore his effort wins, and brings before you with all haste. Soft rains to soothe the hot, and sunshine to warm. Gratitude of Sanu, chief of Zuntu, is boundless. <clears throat> we are honored to meet you, chief Sanu. I am Afnod Levire. And uh, these are my companions, Akama, Rujun, and Seed uh, Golon. Uh, we are coming to the of an airship, a uh, flying vessel of the Nethers, which we believe is somewhere in the Cloud Sea. Ah, like two black steel shard contraptions from which you save Lanu Vanu? Alas, no. Uh, that sheep uh, belongs to the Galian Empire, an old enemy of ours, so not the enemy we are looking for at present. The men we seek uh, wear armor of purest white and are led by an older man in white robes. Wait, Vanu Vanu here tell of these netherlings. You do? Are you certain? As sun rises and falls and returns, we are. Zandu scouts can testify to words of Lanu Vanu. Aye, aye, winds carry purpose of Netherlings to our ears as well. Netherlings seek key to Aziz Lia. Now we're getting somewhere. Tell us, Chief Sanu, what exactly is this Aziz La? Beware, nether things, for blackest clouds portend greatest danger. Look not into heart of tempest. There lies ancient birthplace of sin, home of forbidden secrets. To speak more is to call the wind. But the white devours isle where key is kept. Deep within bowels of mighty Bismarck it lies, beyond reach of the foolhardy. And beyond ours. Rejoice not in his <coughs> gluttony. Lanu Vanu, for as stones <coughs> give way to water and wind, all yields to the white. This he knows, Chief Sanu. Madness of Vandu bodes ill for all Vanu.
Quest complete. So Aziz La is home to for forbidden secrets, accessible only to bearer of the key which the Archbishop Corvette. Much as I would like to believe it's safe within the belly of Bismarck, the Knights of the Heavens Ward wield primal powers. If we do not slay the whale and claim the key first, they surely will. <clears throat> Quite how we will go about it is another matter. As was the, the case in our battle with the Viathon, we are out of our element. And this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, a customary approach still holds true. <clears throat> we must begin by learning more about the white. Let us each question the resident of the village, and then regroup and share our findings on all. If Netherling seek knowledge of the white, then speak with Kunu Vali, foremost keeper of tales. But neglect not to present himself, present himself with humility and respect. As sun yields to moon, and moon to sun, netherlings must greet Unuvali with a bow. Bow. Zephyr winds at your back in sunshine to warm your brow. Travel from below, Unuvali. Keeper of tales, hears your words, and she remembers. In times long ago, in lands elsewhere, before even the cloud sea, the white is one among many. Newborn, he swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated, the white is, for his brothers are pure as black, so great is their contempt, their loathing that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again, but merciful gods raise him to the heavens, and there he is reborn. The white still longs for the sea, which he cannot return, but in rebirth, the splinter of the divine is shared. And so he opens his maw, from whence come clouds, and a new sea is born, home to him alone. The tent, he gazes below, and sees others who are, as he, hated and hunted. He weeps, and in his benevolence, he raises up isles of earth, and guides these people to the cloud sea, which is the tale of his rebirth, and such is the tale of his rebirth, and the salvation of the Bandu may never be forgot. But this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of the Bandu, his hunger that of a wild beast, the owls are his gift to us, yet now he must consume them? Unuvali knows no tales like this. So, according to the Vanu Vanu, the Sea of Clouds and the Floating Isles were gifts from Bismarck to his people. Gifts which he has taken to Eden, yes? Technically within his rights, I suppose, if uh, perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods, eh? Uh, but what of you, Alphanod? Did you learn aught of value? Alas, no. That is, uh, unless you have an interest in the intricacies of Banu Skyfishing. Skyfishing? My gods, that's it! Alphanon, my boy, I could kiss you. From what we have observed, Bismarck is a creature of pure instinct, driven primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, he fled, but not before devouring another island to restore his strength. But I propose this. We tow a suitably appetizing island through the Sea of Clouds. In essence, fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, 
we shall use dragon killers to fire grapnels into the beast hide and then reel it in close, enabling our resonant Acon Slayer to engage it directly. A bold, <clears throat> a bold plan, Master Colon, but an exceedingly dangerous one. Uh, should Akuma fail to subdue the creature, he would almost certainly be eaten along with the rest of your appetizing uh, island. Oh, he won't fail. If anything does go wrong, I'll be at the helm of the Enterprise, ready to tow him out of the trouble. I wouldn't entrust a task like this to anyone else. All right. I trust you have no objection to my joining you as well? Not at all. The more the merrier. Right, then... Seems uh, the boys and I have a lot of work to do with the Enterprise it is to be ready for our fishing trip while you two need to find me some bait and not just any island. Uh, mind, I want a mouthful at most. Hmm. Right, let's see, what are we on now? Bolt Chain and Island. Bolt Chain and Island. Okay, that's a trial, 72. Uh, and that gives us now 22 more to go. Well, you had seed, you need an island to beat the hook. Uh, by the way, the first step, I propose we speak with Chief Sunu. <clears throat> if it, Sundu are as concerned by Bismarck's behavior as they have given us to believe. They may uh, well be supportive of our efforts to slay him. The Ramotain is upon us. White Feast and the Vondu rejoice in his carnage. Hear me, uh, Chief Sunu. Uh, this creature which torments you now is not the deity who raised up the floating... <clears throat> Isles and made the gift of them to you. There's a perversion of your beliefs given form by the Bundu. A false savior who consumes that which he should rightfully seek out. Yet it need not be this way, Chief Sonu. Uh, we have the power to strike down this imposter. But we beg of you and Island to see it done. Boats against the tempest. In vain do they struggle. Yet, who is so new to speak of what may be? Perhaps even the Tremotain can turn into the planet. Very well, Netherlings. When you are ready, tell Zundu scouts a manner of island you require and they guide you to it. Uh, we shall not fail, Chief Sonu. On that you have my word. Come, Akuma. Let us see how seeds preparations are progressing. All the way to the dungeon, probably. Our Guardian friends have furnished us with Dragon Killer and ammunition, and I've taken the liberty of procuring a Magitech field generator as well. Rest assured, we've changed the spare every link forged by the manufactory's master craftsmen. If you've any lingering doubts as to their strength, know that they were originally intended to bind dragons and were not found wanting. If <coughs> It pleases me to inform you uh, that the Vanu Vanu have agreed to finish us with an island by choosing. Then all that remains is to confirm the readiness of the poor buggers who will actually be doing the fighting. Akuma, let Wedge know when your party is assembled. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I don't like this plan. I don't like it one little bit, but I can't help being excited all the same. So tell me, Akuma, are you ready to hunt the white whale? After you then, Akuma. All aboard. Then I just hit... Oops. 
But like you coming in late, we don't know if you're actually staying to that time because, well, you know, we're moving out. We're leaving, you know, before you. So it's it's like really fucking annoying. A lot of places do that kind of thing where it's people who come in early. It's cool. People who come in late. Not cool. Like uh, four hours, some places call it. But like the core hours suck my balls. Like you might as well not even call it like core hours. Like, oh, you get an hour differential from coming in. And... It's like that's not that's not anything different. Yeah, that that's what they did. Like I was friends with. Uh, They're like, yeah, we we kind of like come in knowing like, uh, and they left early because like they didn't want to hit rush hour and they avoided it completely. 5 a.m. in the morning, get there, that's insane. Thank you for the key, Bismarck. Marky Mark. Yeah, DPS not oh, limit breaking there too. It was really Funny, it's like tanks don't really need a limit break in these things because they're so easy overall. That's almost always better just to to drop some fatty damage on them to kill it faster. Warrior of Light, who am I talking to? Is it... Is it another waifu? Who's talking to me? Yeah, that makes sense, and the harder versions, where, like, you can get, basically... You know, ass blasted to another dimension, so you use the tank limit break to survive like those those uh phases or the big abilities where it's it's the opposite where you get ass blasted to another dimension but like using a limit break won't actually speed it up enough to survive. Oh shit you would Got the fucking Ashians here. Is she our Ashian like waifu? I assume there's an, a waifu for each race. Just try, motherfucker. Alag, alag. Oh shit! Alpha Nod, where the fuck are you? Is he now going to turn on the Ashen? Looks like a fucking shield! Mini shields into interdimensional transport? Evil laugh. Where the hell is Sid and all my homies?
And there I am, just a glaring atom. We get fucking alien spaceships here? Alien spaceship city. Forgive me, Akuma. Had I known what was happening, mayhap I could have done something to stop them. Fuck you, Alpha Nod. Alpha Nod doing anything. Alas, well, Wedge and I were still sealed within the engine room and heard not of the struggle until it was over. And now, for all our efforts, the Archbishop holds the very thing we sought to keep from him. But all is not lost. For we will yet leave and we know their destination. Let us get chased and bring an end to their machinations. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. All right. Wind up, Sid. But we failed to secure the key. We must not forget that we succeeded in ridding the realm of another primal and prevented the Vanu Vanu's lands from being consumed in so doing. But Zondu, they shall be glad of our deeds this day. Let us go and inform our chief Sonu of our victory. Sitting the others will need a moment to attain the enterprise. Besides, attunement, it feels so good that I can fly. Damn, I don't need a teleport to talk to him. Feels great. <gasps> they killed him. They're all good dead. They done fucked. You're coming for us. No. I'm going to beat your shitty ass imperial troops like the punk asses they are. Oh shit! Look at that shitty ass crown. Oh, 
Yes, difference of opinion there, slight one. Wouldn't that be the most important thing? Speak your mind if it is going to be your last? Like, that doesn't even make sense. I really don't see the Garlean Empire as being as evil as it's made out to be in a lot of cases. It's kind of like the ends justify the means to a certain degree, a little sacrifice here and there of like, uh, we need to kill some shit, make sure no other shit happens that's even worse. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Bombs ahoy, motherfucker! Came from the Enterprise. Starship Enterprise. What? I guess not. Nah. Giant fucking spaceship above them. Yeah, that's one hell of a big ship. This thing could fucking ass blast an entire country. Yeah, my boxing gloves will fuck you up next time, though. Uh, because this is super fucking important and this ain't no bitch ass motherfucker. He's like, I will go and fuck them up, anyone who gets in my way. And never in my wildest dreams did I think I would stand less than 20 paces from the Emperor of Golemont. Vice those cavos in the flesh. I assume the commander that accompany him must be the legatus of whom the centurion spoke. Ah, forgive me. This is neither the time nor place for such idle speculation. May return to the Enterprise at once. It occurs to me that our friends may have run afoul of Imperial forces as well. <laughs> 